it's like that scene from Office when I was like, don't panic. <laughs> I said, stay calm. Like, okay, now it's like it's happening, right? Right, right? So now everyone's like scrambling to figure out how to image this thing. Headline this week, four powerful telescopes agree interstellar comet 3i Atlas really is bizarre. This is from a variety of outlets. We were able to catch Atlas on its way in, yeah. not when it was on its way out, which gives more time to capture more data, yeah. uh, as well as being able to see how it behaves over a longer time period. Is yeah. that fair? Yeah, exactly. Because once we've got it, like every astronomer who's a planetary astronomer, who is a, you know, or planetary origins or an exoplanets astronomer trying to understand how solar systems form, right. this is a very big deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so what we what we'd like to do is to observe it right now yes with our terrestrial based telescopes like the james webb yes right w now when it's like you know sort of away from the sun yes get as much data as possible yes and then as it goes through the solar system yes. and it reaches mars yes it's going to be on the other side of the sun it's going to be near mars's orbit yes um we can have all of our orbiters that are orbiting mars right sort of mm, yeah. and then point towards this mm -hmm. thing and try to get as much data as possible. So the idea is we have orbiters around Mars that have a certain mission right now, right? A Mars based mm -hmm. mission. Um, and they can take a break. This is one of those like not that many, that often in the lifetime yeah. opportunity. It's like we can take a, a couple hours a day, reorient, use some of our fuel to yeah. do so, to capture, to provide that data when we on Earth, as well as JWST, don't have the capability or the angle of, of viewing yeah. to be able to actually properly capture it as it gets closer yeah. uh, to our, our orbit. Yeah, and exactly. So that's where the European Space Agency and, and this new stuff is coming in, right? Where the, the European Space Agency has a bunch of orbiters mm -hmm. around uh, Mars mm -hmm. that they're like, okay, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna repurpose okay. for this. One of them super. is um, the Mars Express and the other one is the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. Mm -hmm. Both of these both of these things have cameras that are pretty good. This thing is still going to be pretty far away from Mars, but you know, getting any sort anything. of getting anything when it's on the other side of the sun and we can't put anything there and it's going to be the most volatile when it's on the other side of the sun. So getting any data at that point of its orbit right. of its tra trajectory, I should say, not orbit because it's not orbiting, yep. um, is going to be incredibly valuable. And the guys at the ESA are definitely tempering everyone's expectations. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, guys, it's going to be far away. Like our stuff wasn't designed for this. It's like, okay, dude, like no one's going to blame you if you get shit data. Like just get whatever you can, 100%. right? 